Got uh, Tim Baldwin here, the lead pastor at Saturday EV. Can you tell us your, your five things on leading people through change? Five things on leading people through change. I think um, by nature we don't want to change. By nature we want to stay the same and we want to protect our comfort and the convenience of our life. And so I think as a leader to try and head into new territory and uh, new ministry initiatives, um, we need to take people with us which involves usually them changing in some way, them changing in their mindset and being prepared to pay a cost to go on a new, uh, go on a new mission. Um, and so as, as the things I think that are important in to helping people change to come on a new adventure with you in ministry are these, I'd say people need to be envisioned. Um, people need to be given something exciting um, that's bigger than themselves. Um, they need to be given, uh, excited about the mission of God and His glory and His name and be swept up into that um, and, and so that they will be prepared to pay a cost in their own personal life. Um, and so th there's things I think about doing in envisioning people. I think about the importance of meeting with people one-on-one -on -one to um, paint pictures for them and get them excited about where things could go. Um, and so uh, sitting with people and having coffee and talking them through um, where, where things could go and how they could be involved. Um, sitting in meetings with people, with your key leaders, um, enthusing them and exciting them about where things could go is important, envisioning them. And, and finally, the third context in envisioning would be uh, in, through preaching um, to the people in your church or in your core group or wherever you're at. Um, preaching, um, uh, giving people a big picture of God, uh, helping people to uh, analyse their own worldview and, and see where it conflicts with God's worldview and His mission. Um, and, and through the preaching of Scripture, calling people to, um, calling people to something great that they can um, give themselves to um, at great expense to themselves. I think so. There's a big one, envisioning people. I think as well as envisioning people, we need to show people um, show people that we're, we're caught up in that vision um, and you need to show them how we can get there. There's nothing worse than being uh, encouraged by um, some fabulous picture of the future um, but then not being shown how we can get there. So show people how to get there, which often involves um, reverse engineering. Um, I think it was Al Stewart who once said to me, Tim, how do you eat an elephant? Um, one bite at a time. Uh, so if we can show people where we need to head, but then step it back to the present, break it down uh, into bite-sized pieces and, and show people how we can just take the next step towards heading in that direction, uh, breaking it down, that's helpful. Uh, I think, um, so there's envisioned people, show them, uh, include them, include people in the, in the process of um, the, the, the strategy that comes from breaking things down include people in the process of coming up with ideas about how to um, reach people, how to get the word out about things, and so people are involved in that process. Um, I would say we need to organise people. Uh, we, need to, we need to break down our big vision into strategy and then into uh, practical ministries and uh, tasks in those ministries, and we need to organise people into ministry teams. Mm. Um, and uh, hopefully according to the giftedness but just things need to be done so people just need to be organised into ministry teams and given really clear objectives about what they're, what they're responsible to do in those teams and then finally I'd say we need to hold them accountable to doing those things I think one of um, I, think, I think one of the mistakes we can make in ministry is not giving people enough responsibility hmm. um, not helping them to see that in fact um, God has made them and given them gifts to be used in the building up of the body and it's the responsibility of leadership not to do everything um, but to equip everyone else to do everything um, and I think um, we can make the mistake of not giving people responsibility. We can make the mistake of thinking it's our job and we've just got to try and find people to help us. But really, um, this is all of our job as the body of Christ to work hard to build up the body of Christ by converting people and discipling people. And so um, keeping people accountable to, the, to their responsibilities in ministry and, and equipping them and helping them and pushing them forward is, a, is, is one of the ways, I think, in which we can uh, help people to change and head towards it. Um, head where we're heading in the future for God's glory.